In this video, we're going to look at how to sum up an arithmetic series given just a little bit of information. So in this case, we're given the 25th term, which is 32, and the common difference, which is 3. So we want to find the sum of the first 50 terms. Now to sum up a finite arithmetic series, the sum of the first n terms is the number of terms over 2 times the first term plus the last term. Well, we know the number of terms. We're doing 50. All we need is the first term and the last term. There's a couple different ways to go about it. One is we could repeatedly subtract the 3 till we get the first term and repeatedly add it till we get to the 50th. That could take a while. It's quicker to find the general term and then apply it to be able to find what we need. We already know the common difference is 3 and that when n is 25, um, the value must be 32. So if we're trying to find the formula for the a sub nth term, we know it's going to be 3n plus some value, let's call it b. So I'm going to plug in 25 and 32 just like I would a linear equation trying to find the y-intercept. So 32 is my answer when n is 25 plus b. So I get 75 plus b equals 32 and subtracting 75 from both sides I'm going to get that b is a negative 43. So I have my a sub n for the nth term is 3n minus 43. Remember what we needed? We needed the first term and the 50th term. So now we can find a sub 1 which is 3 times 1 minus 43 so 3 minus 43 is going to give us a negative 40. So there's our a sub 1. Our a sub 50 is 3 times 50 minus 43. So 150 minus 43 gives us 107. So our sum of the first 50 terms is 50 over 2 times negative 40 plus 107 or we have 25 times 67 which gives us calculate it real quick here a total of 1675 so that's how we can do it just given one term in the common difference